So this T. Higgins situation might get a little interesting. Let's talk about this. Because I was thinking about this yesterday. And now with Chase not getting a contract. Like, you know, going into this offseason. The idea was we aren't going to pay T. Higgins. Right? We aren't going to extend T. Higgins. Because we have to extend Jamar Chase. What would be absolutely hilarious would be if the Bengals did go ahead and go against a normal policy. Which they never give contracts out during the season. It has to be during the offseason. If they went against that policy and just gave T. Higgins a contract right now. First off, that would be hilarious. But with his, you know, hamstring. He missed last game. He missed, he's going to miss his next game. And we don't know. He might not even be back for the Commanders game. We might not get T. Higgins back till week five or six. With a hamstring injury especially, those things linger. And those things come back. Like they're, It's the ugliest thing in football because they never truly go away. So what I was thinking is, with him missing last year, a total of, what, four games, then this year... Let's say he doesn't come back to week five, right? Week five. If the hamstring injury is a problem throughout the year, which it probably will be because, again, those injuries kind of always, you know, kind of keep going. They're, they don't truly go away. He's going to be a free agent after this year. And with missing, arguably, you know, four games last season and potentially missing five games this season... There, the idea of getting T. Higgins back on this team and not losing him might not be that outrageous. I know it's crazy to say because I feel like as all of our fans here, we kind of just accept the fact that, yup, T's gone. We're going to lose T after this season. It sucks, but it is what it is. Just keep moving on. Get Chase under contract. Even announcers and different analysts are saying T's gone. But I don't know how true that might be. And it might be to do with his injury. So when he hits free agency, or if he hits free agency, I say that because we could always franchise tag him, right? We could always give him a franchise tag, whether it's a transitional tag, or we could give him the um, exclusive tag. Exclusive tag would be more expensive, be on $25 million, uh, fully guaranteed one-year contract. While the non-exclusive tag would be around $21 million, but it would mean that we would be able to offer him a contract. And if nobody ex uh, offers him anything, he has to take that contract. But if someone wants to offer for him, they have to give us two first round picks and then they can offer him a contract and we have the ability to match that deal. So, bar none, we have options, right? But with him being 27 years old, not 27, sorry. It says on here, 20, how old is it? It says 26.6, which I think this is incorrect, right? Because right now, he is 20, well, he's not, no, no. No, my, yes, so right now he's 25. 25 and a half, yeah, so 25 and a half. Um, when's his birthday? January 18th. Okay, so tw January 18th, he'll be 26. Yeah, so it'll be 26 and a half in potentially in free agency. Right now, free agency next year. If nobody gets signed, nobody gets a deal, Stephon Diggs, yeah, T. Higgins, Keenan Allen, Mari Cooper, Chris Godwin, Brandon Cooks, Deontay Johnson, DeAndre Hopkins, Mike Williams, Robert Woods, Marquise Brown, so on, so on. It's not a loaded free agency class. It really isn't. So this kind of goes against my point. Um, but if he misses more games this year, I don't know what the market value will be for him if he hits free agency. Now, again, we always have the opportunity to franchise tag him again. We can. We have 100% the ability to. Um, or we have the ability to offer him a contract. And, you know, if he does hit free agency, even with his injury history, there will be a lot of deals, okay? There will be a lot of teams that will go after him and be interested in him 
based on the sole fact that, you know, he is T. Higgins, okay? Being T. Higgins holds a lot of value. But there will be some teams that probably will be a little bit spectacle about it. They might not offer him exactly what he wants. They might not offer him close to what he wants. And definitely not in the neighborhood of the guaranteed money. Because you know he wants guaranteed money. That's the whole problem with us is, based on what we understand, he wants a lot of his contract guaranteed. Which makes sense. You have injury concerns. You have injury problems. You want a lot of money guaranteed. But I'm just saying... I don't know, depending on, because the whole idea was, if he had a great season this year, right, he played week one to week 17, fantastic year, played great, did everything perfect, then he would hit free agency and everyone in the mother would want him, right? And that makes sense, perfect sense, because, yeah, you know, that's kind of how it is. In reality, T is a number one wide receiver. But being 26 and a half years old, Coming off of two back-to-back -back seasons where you're injured, one where you didn't play a whole season, and the other one where you missed part of the beginning of the season, it might let us kind of sneak in there and get a deal. I'm just saying, I know the far-going conclusion right now is we're going to lose T. Higgins. He's going. We're not getting him back. It's not happening. And outside of finessing him with another franchise tag, there might be a scenario where teams aren't as interested in him as we once thought based on the fact of how long this hamstring hurts. This hamstring injury could, in theory, bring him back to Cincinnati, which is crazy to say out loud because I really didn't think about this until I started realizing this hamstring injury this is back-to-back -back years of injury. And with being 26 and a half years old at wide receiver, 26 years old is not really old for a receiver. It usually, I don't say old. Usually, once you get 27, 28, you kind of go toward your down scale. And then 29, you're, you're, you're still good, but you know, you, you're you not the greatest. And then 30 plus, you're just kind of down. But it's not like running back, where once you hit running back's numbers at like 30 years old, you're a drop-off. Like, receiver can be so successful after the 30 years old. So, but again, like I said, it's just kind of, I guess, food for thought right now. But with the fact that the market really isn't crazy, the free agent market next year, I don't know. I mean, the draft is a, is a decent receiving core draft, so that's good for our, you know, benefit here. But when it comes to Stephon Diggs, you know, he'll get paid, but he is 32 years old. Um, Keenan Allen might retire, in all honesty. Chris Godwin, 29, 30 years old. I mean, all these receivers are old as crap. So that's <laughs> the only problem. T is, like, sitting there in free agency with a whole entire retirement home looking at him. But he also has a market value of $20 million, and I know a lot of teams will probably not look at that number and think he's worth it. If he misses a significant time period this year due to this injury, I definitely feel like there will be a lot of teams that simply do not see T as a number, like as a worth $20 million a year receiver. Even though T is 100% a number one wide receiver, 100% when he's healthy, he's one of the best, there will be some speculation which might push the a chance or ability for us to bring him back. I'm not saying 100%, but this hamstring injury, I know some people are saying, oh, he's faking it. I highly doubt he's faking it. It doesn't look good for him. It doesn't look good if he's faking it, one, because then teams know he's faking it. Then it's like, oh, we got a guy who's going to sit out and not, if he doesn't get paid. But number two, we have a guy now who's injured. And that's back-to-back -back years. He's going to be 27 years old. There's going to be some talk. And that's when we come in, swoop in, and say, we'll take it back. Bring back T. The Higgins to Cincinnati. And, yeah. Maybe it's my uh, daydream type scenario, but it's always a possibility.
Let's just pay him right now. Let's just give him the money right now and just get it over with. Who day, guys? Who 